When we talk about retro computing, obviously we love chatting about the hardware, the operating systems, the games, but there is one thing that we all ran back in the day that I think deserves a bit more love. So today, we're going to be taking a nostalgic look back at screensavers. And this video is brought to you with my friends at Squarespace. Now, I think you can always tell a computer user of a certain age. Those of us who grew up in the era of CRT displays often still use a screensaver today. Now, despite the fact that they're not really needed on modern displays, I always have one running on all of my machines just because they look awesome. And I think it's a nice bit of room decoration and something interesting to see when you walk into a room and the computers have been idle for a while. But on older displays, a screensaver or a screen blanker, whatever you call them, did serve an essential purpose, as you didn't want to leave the same image displaying for too long on a CRT display, as they tended to burn in, which meant the image could leave a permanent scar on the screen. So you'd keep the display active by running a screensaver, hence the name. And in the earliest days, these would usually just make your screen go dark, a totally black screen, which would of course prevent burn-in, but it wasn't very exciting. So it didn't take long until the screensaver also became a fun add-on for your machine. And there were many fun and creative examples. So in this video, I'm going to take you through my top 10 screensavers of all time. And at number 10 is Flying Toasters. Now, Flying Toasters was a really popular screensaver back in the early 90s, mainly thanks to its inclusion in the Berkeley Systems After Dark series, which was a compilation of screensavers for the Mac and Windows released in 1989 and 1991 respectively. But there have been ports to many different systems over the years. And Flying Toasters was arguably the most popular screensaver from the original After Dark release. And as the name would suggest, you get a screen full of retro looking toasters, complete with cute little angel wings that fly and spin around on the screen. And Flying Toasters became so popular, they even released merchandise, including t-shirts. And later, upgraded versions of the screensaver included things like bagels and pastries, and even a version with karaoke music. And I love this so much, I still run Flying Toasters on my Amiga 4000 to this day. Now, at number nine, we've got the classic Space. And I remember seeing this in the Windows 98 Plus pack, which was an enhancement pack released by Microsoft that included a load of additional things, such as desktop themes, games, and of course, the most exciting thing, for this video at least, screensavers. Now, Space, also known as Lost in Space or Space Exploration, I've seen it referred to a few different ways online, but this showed a lone astronaut flying around the deep voids of space with only a satellite and his space station in the background for company. Now, I've got to say, I always found this one particularly mesmerizing, and I ran this as my default screensaver on Windows 98 for several years. And at number eight, we've got 3D text. Now, admittedly, it doesn't look all that exciting, but this was a staple in offices all over the world in the 90s and early 2000s, as this was bundled with Windows. Now, although technically not all that impressive, it's really just a moving predefined line of text that would go around the screen randomly. The fact that you could customize the message meant that there was lots of fun to be had with this, and it likely spawned millions of office pranks the world over. And at number seven, we've got Starry Night. Now, this is another classic screensaver from the After Dark collection. And Starry Night was a really popular choice back in the Max 68K days. And even though later versions of this run in full color, I think it always looked a lot more atmospheric in monochrome featuring a serene night cityscape that's gradually made up of pixels, which continues to make a starry sky with the odd shooting star. And this was perfect for when you needed to take a break from those twilight hacking sessions back in the late 80s. And at number six, we've got Mystery. Now, I'm including this one for pure nostalgia, as admittedly, it is rather cheesy, but this was always a screensaver that I would enable during October, along with my pumpkin wallpapers. Now, Mystery displays a haunted house, which in hindsight is about as creepy as a ghost train at a NAF funfair, but it did have some nice touches. 
And it was a screensaver that you'd actually spend a bit of time looking at as it displayed a haunted house with random events going on. And to be fair, the sound effects often made me jump if I was doing something at the other side of the room and it kicked in. And number five is 3D pipes. Now, this one is a real classic, and I used to see everybody running this during the Windows 95 era. And this one really stuck in my mind as 3D was suddenly the hottest thing in gaming and computing and graphics, as we got machines like the PlayStation, which replaced the Sega Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo. And obviously, while the graphics of 3D pipes weren't quite up to the standard of something like Quake. It's very cool to see them being drawn out on the screen, and they even have a bit of rudimentary shading and light reflections going on. Now, of course, it doesn't look like much today, but it was a nice demo of the improved graphics in Windows 95. And sadly, 3D pipes vanished with the introduction of Windows Vista. But there are recreations that you can run on modern systems today. And number four, we have Maze. Now, this is another screensaver that is very much of its time and made a good example of Windows 95's 3D capabilities. And of course, this landed right in the middle of the first FPS craze, when games like Doom were the hottest thing in gaming. Although the red bricks in the Maze screensaver remind me a bit more of something like Wolfenstein 3D, but it is complete with floor and ceiling effects, and it really did feel like you were sitting back and watching somebody else play a slightly boring first-person shooter, as there's not any enemies in here. Occasionally, you'll hit a sphere, and that will turn the player upside down, and there are what appear to be dead rats or mice kind of randomly scattered throughout the maze as well. And I do remember running this on the school computers and it using a huge percentage of their anemic CPU time, and it would often bring the rest of the system to a total crawl. But it was the closest thing that we got to playing Doom at school for a while. And at number three, The Matrix. Now, of course, The Matrix was the hottest movie of 1999, and shortly after, it became the hottest screensaver of the year as well. And everyone I knew was running some variation of a Matrix screensaver in 99, 2000, 2001. This hung around for quite a while. And it featured the green Matrix cipher code falling down the screen. And leaving it running on your monitor of an evening made you look like an elite hacker to others when they walked in. Probably. And there were so many different clones and versions of this. I can't remember which one I ran back in the day, and it was released for pretty much every platform you can think of. But I did run various versions of the Matrix screensaver up until around 2007. And after recording this video, I think I might have to bring that back. And at number two, we've got Serene Screen Aquarium, and this one is just gorgeous. Now, this screensaver was perfect to unwind with after a long day. After you'd spent several hours staring at the screen of a word processor or a spreadsheet, I always found aquariums fascinating as a kid. And I remember my uncle having a massive aquarium in his living room and spending hours just staring at the fish. And this virtual aquarium is just gorgeous, and it features some beautiful 3D rendered fish. And interesting fact, this was actually made by artist Jim Sachs, who's better known for graphics on games like Defender of the Crown and Sorcerer Attack. And originally, this was a commercial product, but then later on, it was bundled with the Plus Pack for Windows XP and Windows Media Center. And the fish in here looks so realistic, there is actually a section on Jim's website showing users' cats' reactions to it. And if you like the look of this, there's actually a modern-day version of it available, so you can run it up to 4K on your PC or Mac, and there are versions for smartphones, and I'll link up his website if you want to buy those in the video description. So that's our top nine, and before we get to the number one screensaver of all time, just a quick word from this video sponsor, my friends at Squarespace. Now, of course, everybody needs a website, whether it's for personal or business use. And I've used Squarespace for both over the last decade, from my business websites to my wedding invite RSVP. Yeah, I made a website for that in Squarespace. And it's brilliant for someone like me who hasn't got much web design skills. Their powerful website builder and their beautiful custom templates are all drag and drop. And Squarespace makes it incredibly easy for anybody to get a great looking SEO optimized website. So I'd love you to try it out with a free trial. Use my link, squarespace.com slash Danwood, set your site up for free, and then when you're ready to launch it, you'll get a massive 10% off your first purchase of a website or a custom domain. 
So the number one best screensaver of all time, in my opinion, has to be the classic Johnny Castaway. Now, this was branded as the world's first storytelling screensaver when it was released back in 1992 by adventure game publisher Sierra Online, who were best known for classic point-and-click adventure games like Leisure Suit Larry and the King's Quest series. And this comedy screensaver shows a man, who we assume is Johnny Castaway, stranded on a tiny desert island with only a palm tree for company, but we get to see all kinds of random things happen over time, with lots of slapstick humour included too. And Johnny Castaway is seasonally aware, so that means when you get near Christmas, a festive tree appears on the island, and on October 31st, a Halloween pumpkin shows up as well, depending on the system's internal clock date. And it's got some amusing sound effects, and various other characters show up from time to time as well. Now, this really is one of those screensavers where the longer you watch it, and believe me, people did used to watch this all day, the more you will get out of it, as some things only happen very occasionally. Like maybe every couple of days, you will get a visit from a mermaid, or maybe once a week, the cast of Gilligan's Island might show up. And this was so popular, it sold by the bucket load back in the day. And in fact, when we spoke to Sierra Online founder Ken Williams on my podcast, The Retro Hour, he mentioned how this was one of the cheapest but most profitable products that they ever produced. And this was pretty much just a two-man effort to make. And the fact that a screensaver could be so entertaining, and I don't think this has been topped in the last 30 years, means that this, Johnny Castaway, deserves the place of number one in my list. So that's been my top 10 screensavers of all time. Now, maybe you've got a favourite that I missed out from my list, or have you got any memories of the ones that I covered? I would love to hear a comment from you. And just a quick reminder that I do a weekly retro gaming and technology podcast, The Retro Hour. New episodes released every Friday. You can search for us on your favourite podcast app, ask your smart speaker to play The Retro Hour podcast, or head to our website at theretrohour.com. And we bring you up to speed on all the big happenings in the world of retro gaming and tech over the last seven days. And we speak to a veteran of the industry on each week's show. Check it out. New episodes available every Friday. And while you're here on YouTube, here are a couple of my other videos I think you might enjoy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.